Before I begin this presentation, I would like to apologise for my raspy voice. This is a result of bouts of glandular fever and a lung infection over the past month. I will try to be as clear as possible. I would also like to explain my reasoning for completing this as an individual task as opposed to a group task. Due to my aforementioned illnesses, I have been in and out of hospital and not always had the energy or access to a laptop to attend classes and form a group. I was informed by Chris Blundell to complete this task individually with a slightly smaller time frame. Thank you for understanding. Good morning, everyone. Today, I will be providing insight into my proposed digital learning activity for the grade nine and 10 students at our college. This digital learning activity aims to further the development of our students using the technologies that we have at our disposal to get the best out of our resources for their educational benefit. Some basic information regarding the DLA before we begin. Demographics of the intended audience. This particular DLA will be aimed towards students in grade nine and 10 as they begin to select their senior year electives and consider life after school. This learning activity will most likely be placed within an English unit or completed in a separate class time as this regards their future study and careers as opposed to any one subject. And this will also be aimed at both male and female students across the entire DLA. This proposed plan will span across three 60 minute lessons and will take place inside individual classrooms or, if available, an auditorium hall with a good sound system in order to properly implement the DLA. Finally, the content descriptor linked to my learning activity is ACWOP053 to analyse the impact of gender on subject choice, work aspirations, further education, career choices, and resultant outcomes. This is a very relevant descriptor today and will continue to be for a number of years. The designing the DLA around this content descriptor should provide useful insight for our students heading into their senior years. My proposed DLA has a clear and concise proposed learning outcome and purpose. As previously mentioned, the main aim is to use the technology at our disposal to give our students the best possible opportunities for success. Doing this means setting them up as best as possible for their life after school and ensuring our pupils are aware of their options and opportunities leaving our college, be that study, an apprenticeship, or full-time work. More directly relative to my DLA, an ideal learning outcome would be to give our students a better understanding of the impact their gender actually has on the choice of electives, interests and career options. Finally, I hope that we will be able to point students in the direction of senior electives that they may never have considered before, to better uncover their strengths, interests and passions. The digital learning activity I propose is a combination of communicative technology as well as utilising digital resources and activities. Due to recent events regarding the coronavirus, students have become familiar with the Zoom program and its usefulness in an education setting. I propose we plan Zoom chats with members of the community whose professions lie in various areas of the workforce. In addition to this, these adults will have careers in roles that do not stereotypically fit their gender norms in the 21st century. Students will listen to a brief 15 to 20 minute presentation by these various adults before engaging in a professional discussion as well as a pre-approved Q&A portion. Finally, students will utilise the aforementioned digital activity resource by completing a six point questionnaire in which students will answer along a scale format, answers which will help determine their interests, knowledge and sustainability to a range of professions and study options. Gender profession officers, I believe, would provide strong points for consideration and discussion are a man currently working in some form of a childcare profession, a woman currently working a trade-based profession, and finally, another woman currently working within a leadership role in her company or organisation. Society has unfortunately normalised the polar opposites of these combinations due to assumed physical, emotional or mental attributes or lack thereof, without giving much to the idea of equity and equality across all fields of the workforce. Each questionnaire for students to fill out will look like this. These questions tailored to the subject or career path being discussed, but still gaining the same information for all topics. The answers for each question will lie upon a scale in order to provide clear answers to three final questions to assist them with their options after school. Their interest in the profession, their knowledge of the profession, and their suitability to the profession. The Zoom call 
will provide them with a much better insight into each topic before they complete these questionnaires. The one that can be seen here is the questionnaire for a discussion with a man in a childcare profession and the dominance women usually have in this role. As mentioned, their answers will gather information for them to answer three final questions. This screenshot here provides an estimated insight into how this will work. Should a student answer the relevant questions one, three, and six within the large red circles, then their interest in the subject will likely be inside the small red circle, indicating a lot of interest. The same goes for questions two and four. Should their answers lie within the large blue circles, then their knowledge of the profession is likely very strong and within the small blue circle. Finally, should they answer questions one, three, and six within the large yellow circles, then their suitability to the profession is most likely very little to none, as indicated by the small yellow circle. Alternative questionnaires have also been created for the same purpose to discuss women working in leadership roles, as well as women working in a trade profession. Each questionnaire is unique, however, aims to answer the same three final questions for each different topic. As with any project or activity, there are always potential areas of difficulty for students. While the fact that this is an important topic remains absolute, students' concentration levels and their ability to focus will always come into play. Students will also need to be professional while talking to an outside member of the community and professional with how they answer the questionnaires in order to accurately get the correct information and get the best out of this DLA for their life after school. Finally, all questions as part of the Q&A portion of each digital learning activity will be pre-approved in order to establish appropriateness and give the presenter the opportunity to research and provide an answer should they need to. This part may require parental assistance to ensure the best possible questions are being asked. The workflow of this digital learning activity was as follows. It started with identifying a key focus point, which was students' life after school, Linking this to a content descriptor, which was ACWOP053 regarding gender roles in subject choice and career options. Creating a digital learning activity, which was the presentations, discussions and questionnaires for each topic. Determining these topics of discussion, which were childcare, trades and leadership roles in conjunction with the chosen content descriptor. And finally, ensuring students get the most out of this DLA. Thank you everyone for attending this presentation.